Welcome to our kitchen. This is Diane Wyconek from Perfect Handcrafted Soaps in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And today I wanted to make a special soap. One of my girlfriends wanted a turmeric soap. Um, you've heard a lot about the benefits of turmeric and today we're gonna make some soap. I thought I'd add a little bit of different ingredients to make it even more special for her. Um, she's gonna um, order a few bars and the rest will be put on our website for purchase. So I'm going to show you what I have, then I'm going to melt my oils and uh, I'm going to add lye to my uh, coconut milk and we're going to come back and get ready and I'm going to show you how I make my um, soap. So today the inspiration is Tropical Spice. This is a really nice fragrance oil. Um, I've had this oil sitting in this glass container for a while and I smell coconut and it takes me back to being on a tropical island, the Caribbean, U.S. Virgin Islands, which I love, St. John, one of my favorite islands, and it smells terrific. The thing about coconut is um, the smell, sometimes through this ponification process, coconut may not um, come through in your soap, so it's gonna be a crapshoot, so we hope for the best. So, this is from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I have my turmeric, and I have a small container because I don't use it a lot. This is good to go. So I have one and a half teaspoons of turmeric mixed with one and a half tablespoons of light olive oil. So I disperse that, um, mix it up, and it's good to go. I have my alcohol safety glasses. Always wear your safety glasses. Um, we have sodium lactate. I will be using that. That'll go into my lye water at about 125 degrees. Um, I have stick blender, a wonderful thermometer, lots of paper towels because as you know, soaping is pretty sloppy. I have my silicone container, my gloves, spatula and whisk. I put tussa silk in my coconut milk and this is what I get from Wholesale Supplies Plus and as you can see, it's a big bag. So I'll be soaping for the next 20 years with this. So what I do is take um, a little handful and I place it into my lye water and it will disperse. It's great for lathering and smooth silky bars. Um, I have my Kaolin clay. It actually keeps my scent um, in when my bars are ready to cut and sell so the scent stays. I have my mixture that I will put in my oils once they're melted. Chamomile powder, coconut milk powder, and colloidal oats. So, extra special. And, co yeah, did I say coconut milk powder? Yes. So, two kinds of coconut. And I have my lye. And let me go over the exact recipe. So, in this container, I have my coconut milk and uh, a little distilled water, that's 11.3 ounces. I have my oils, so we have coconut oil, 10.2 ounces, olive oil, organic, and this is also organic, this coconut milk, um, also organic. So organic olive oil, we have sustainable palm, 6.8 ounces, cocoa butter, 1.7 ounces, Castor oil, 1.7 ounces. Sunflower oil, 3.4 ounces. And then, you know to take a little handful of Tessa silk, put it in the coconut milk and the lye will go in there. Uh, tablespoon of uh, white kaolin clay. And this mixture, two tablespoons, heaping tablespoons of all this goodness. And we're gonna be ready to go. So. Let me heat up my oils, let me get this um, going, and we'll be back when it's about 110 degrees, and, and then we'll soak. Welcome back. 
So what we have is our lye water, our organic coconut milk, and it was in a can. So we have some um, bits of coconut shred. Some people may strain it, but I think it's great for the soap. And we are going to add it to our oils. It took about 40 minutes for them to come to temperature, and this is at like 111, and this is 107.7, very close to each other. I like the soap at this temperature. Um, sometimes the oil may um, drop faster, or in this case, it was slower than the lye water. So I put it in the refrigerator for about five minutes, then they came to temperature together. Um, it's really crazy, you never know. And I think it's because of the milk, um, uh, organic uh, coconut milk that was added, but you never know. So I always monitor them very carefully. So I'm gonna take my stick blender, put it into my oils, and I'm gonna slowly add all this, all the good particles, coconut bits, tuss of silk, everything into this container. All right, stir it, give it a little stir. I should say, and this looks good. All right. I'm going to add my turmeric and oil into this container. Got some turmeric on my gloves, but that's okay. I'll wipe that off. Turmeric can be very staining, so be very, very careful when using it. I already dispersed it um, in plastic already, a plastic container, and it turned my container yellow. So, again, just be very careful. So I'm going to add my fragrance oil, and that's my tropical spice. And we're going to stick blend it. Get all the yummy bits off of this. Oh, it smells wonderful. It smells like fall. Or no, it, does, it looks like fall, but it smells like a tropical island. Beautiful color. I will show you in a second. See if you can see this. Isn't this beautiful? This is my turmeric soap. We're not going to do any special swirls. We are just going to put it in the container. So, look at all the yummy bits. all the air bubbles out that's why we do this and I have some yumminess in here I want to add you don't want to waste anything because soap's expensive to make and I always say make your own soap you can control all the ingredients that goes into it 
and you know what's going to go on your skin. Your skin is the largest organ of your body um, and you want it to be as healthy as possible. And we'll see if we can do some kind of little fancy design here. And I'm going to put a little sprinkle on it. So I will cover this in a box. I'm going to put it in one of my Amazon boxes. I have lots of Amazon boxes. And uh, um, well, we can wait for it to, needs a little bit to set up and do our little swirl. Oh, needs a little. Oh. Better behaved. Yep, oh, here we go. So, you can make it as fancy as you want. And we'll clean this up a bit. Right. And we'll add some sprinkles. You have to have a little bling. I just used a little bling. What a beautiful soap. Lots of great ingredients, as you saw. So I'm going to put this beauty, I call it my sleeping beauty, in my box and cover it with blankets. And um, of course, we're going to use our alcohol and that's going to prevent soda ash. And this will come out in a few days and we will see you when we return in a couple days and I'll introduce you again to my husband who is the expert cutter and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us. Hi, good morning. We're back. Sleeping Beauty's ready to be unmolded and uh, mm, such a lovely light scent. You're going to love this. Uh, so. Let's unmold it and see what happens. Silicone molds are the best, especially if you use sodium lactate to remove it. So um, let's do this. Beautiful. It came out so easily and uh, Got these on Amazon and they're relatively cheap. I have a couple of them. I usually only make small batches of things because I'm so anxious to try different scents and uh, try different designs. So this is our soap that we made. Don't forget it has wonderful coca organic coconut milk and uh, it's our turmeric soap and lightly scented and you will love this. We'll come back and cut it. Uh, my husband will be there to explain things and uh, um, let's cut some soap. Good morning. I'm Ken, Diane's husband, and uh, we're going to cut the soap here for you. This isn't that it's that difficult that I have to do it and she can't. She does do it on time at times. Um, but um, I was the one who built this uh, soap cutter, looked for had examples on um, the internet and uh, instead of spending a couple hundred dollars and actually most of them were on back order or something I uh, went ahead and um, just designed my own from some scraps out in my garage um, and the only things I needed to buy were the, the drawer slide that I used underneath here um, for my tray it's mounted between two pieces of wood and then a guitar string um, and the tensioner from uh, that you can buy at a music store um, for just a few bucks. So the materials were about 10 or $12 for the, for the slider and then a couple dollars for the guitar string and the uh, tensioner. Um, and the guitar string I'm using is a .02 uh, 
which I don't remember what note that is, but it's uh, that's that seems to be a really good size, um, and it's sturdy. If we I broke one one time, very very uh, hard uh, embed that was in the soap and pushing too hard. I didn't wasn't patient enough, um, but otherwise it's worked out really well for me. Okay, so we're gonna cut our soap here. Um, these have this soap has um, set for quite a um, for quite a while. The, sometimes the soap's not as, as firm. This is pretty firm. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll also have a piece of um, just plain wax paper or you can use freezer paper um, and that I put underneath it so that I can slide it um, around on here. I just have to be careful when I do that that I know where the end of this is and I don't try to cut it. That kind of messes up the cutting process because the wax paper does not cut in the cutter. So we get it lined up. I have this set for one inch. Our form that we started with was ten and a eighth or ten and a quarter, ten and a quarter long. Um, and so we have a little bit on each end that we can slice off to square the soap off. So we're going to start off by um, by doing that and just slice a little bit off the end to give us a nice uh, square edge. And then I push the soap out of the way like that. And I probably should have sliced a little bit more off. So let's go back and do that since we can't get hold of it. Um, all right, and pieces on the end can uh, be put together and kind of make a little mini bar soap for a few washings. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go down through each of these and we can pull the soaps off in the time again I have to watch where the edge of my wax paper is so that I don't try to cut through it and the inside of the soap tends to be softer um, because it hasn't had the, um, the outside air um, in the hardening process so we just don't squeeze too hard while you're moving it around so that you deform, you want to deform the soap. Uh, this cutter can also do, sometimes we do um, almost a 12 by 12 square of soap um, if you want to do a larger quantity. And so I've made it so that it's um, wide enough that we can cut four um, slabs or four long bars. Piece stuck in here. Um, four long bars and then slice them down the same way that we're doing this one. And if the soap's softer, you just want to be careful how you how you push it around and handle it. Again, that's why I like using the wax paper when the bar is bigger and heavier, and you don't have to strain it and put as much stress on it when you're picking it up. You can slide it around. Okay, so that's the soap cutting process, and now Diane will come back and. Uh, Wrap things up. So as you can see, what a beautiful bar this is. Oh, the smell is delightful. So our, our soaps, um, this is a special order, but not all of them will be used, but, and the rest will be for sale. And we're gonna post it on both our Etsy shop, and that's The Black Cat Soapery or our website, Perfect Can Crafted Soaps, will list all the ingredients um, and the recipe and uh, where things can be purchased, like the fragrance oil and such. And if you have any comments or suggestions or you want me to make something in particular, we'll be glad to do it. And uh, I just thank you for your time and I hope this inspires you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited.